Hi there, my name is Kate Lister. I'm president of Global Workplace Analytics. We've been pushing the remote work rock uphill with organizations for almost two decades. The last 18 months, it feels like it's been chasing me down the other side, but in a good way. I wanna tell you about a board meeting where I was making a presentation a couple of weeks ago about the future of remote work. At the end of the meeting, I asked, so how would you rate this meeting on a 10 scale? And I said, I'm going to go first. I'd give it a three. And here's why. You were all sitting in the same room and I was remote. I don't know any of you. You were at a long table. I couldn't even see all of your faces. You didn't have your laptops on, so I, I, you know, I couldn't see you on the screen. There were microphones in the ceiling, but I couldn't tell who was speaking. And at one point, you all got up and, and took a five minute break and turned the sound off. So I, I wasn't included there. And at another point, I had an answer to a question that was asked, but I, I couldn't I couldn't get my hand up. I couldn't nobody could see that I wanted to speak. I wound up texting somebody in the room to say, hey, you know, I'd like to answer that question. One of the things companies have liked about the remote work experience is that it's created a more egalitarian experience. You know, we're all the same size square on the screen. If we want to continue that going forward, we're really going to need to rethink how we have meetings, the tools that we use, the practices that we engage to conduct those meetings so that we don't wind up creating a second class citizen of those in the room and those who aren't in the room.